All right, well, we are learning this week to identify the major external body parts, such as hands, legs, and their uses. We're also matching the body parts, to, um, such as the foot, to their uses. Basically, we are just learning to identify major external body parts and matching them to their uses. Now, if you guys remember, yesterday we focused on the head and everything that was on the head. We learned about the nose. Can you show me your nose? Excellent! We learned about, oh, and by the way, the nose smells. We learned about the mouth. The mouth blows kisses, but it also talks and eats and does many other things. It, our tongue tastes. We learned about our ears. Can you touch your ears? Everybody touch your ears. Say ear. Your ear mm -hmm. is for what, Lakar? Hearing. Hearing. We listen and we hear with our ears. What did I forget? I didn't know. Oh, I forgot about the eye. Can everybody touch their eye? Our eye is for seeing. I see. So those were the body parts we did yesterday. And we even drew our hand and had lots of fun doing that. Today, we're going to take a look at the arm. We're going to look at the arm, the hand. Can everybody touch the hand and wiggle their fingers? Wiggle your fingers. And the elbow. This is the elbow. As a matter of fact, Mr. Helper, can you take that for me? Awesome. We are going to do a science experiment today. We are going to investigate how your elbow works. Oh, yeah. How your elbow works. What do we need? Bakar, what's the first thing? A balloon. Balloon, check. Tape. Tape, check. Three rubber bands. One, two, and three, check. Two paper towel tubes, each with a hole. Two paper tube towels, each with a hole. Check and check. Awesome. All right, do you want to read the first step so we can get started? Make a model of, make a model elbow. Tie the tube ends together with a rubber band. Take the rubber band in place. Oh, so exciting. Are you guys ready to do step number one? We're going to do step number one. If you guys want to join and you have these supplies at home, just pause the video right now and go get the supplies, okay? And then you can join in. Okay, so let's take the two tubes, Lakar, put them together, and then we need, you can take the rubber band and cut it, okay? Let mom and dad help you. And we're going to stick it through the holes and feed it through, and we're going to tie it. This is a great fine motor skill activity, putting elastic bands through holes. Oh, All right. it already starts to look like an arm. Look how you need some practicing time these things. There we go. So we have, oh, the beginning of an arm. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Before you break it, we got to do our next step. We got to right. tape it in place. Tape it in place. All right, I'm going to hold it. You tape it, dude. Rafiki, you cheer us on. Oh. I think it wants to tape the ends so they don't come up. There we go. Perfect. Do on this side too? Yes, please. You're an awesome helper, Lakar. Thank you. Excellent. I think we've done step number one. We have our two tubes with an elastic band taped down. All right, Lakar, you want to read step number two? Attach each end of the balloon to a tube, as you see here. Oh, well, first I got to blow it, right? Because it looks a little bit blown up. Yeah. Just a pinch so the ends are sticking. I think that's enough. Does that match? It's match. Too big. Because you need the end uh, bit. All right. How about that? Yeah. Oh, that looks about right. Maybe a little more. Or it keep going. There. Okay, there we go. Okay. It looks like a pear. It does look like a pear. And you just use a simile, which is something you're learning in English right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I 
it turned into a peanut. <laughs> However it is, we're gonna make it work. So we need an elastic band to go over here. Are you gonna help me place the balloon or do you wanna put the elastic band on the other oh, side? Elastic band. Awesome. It's fun, dude. Yeah. I hope you guys are having fun at home too. All right, we're gonna put this side in here. I'm and that side it's in here. Pop. I don't think it'll pop. But guess what, guys? We have our elbow. And it's squished down. Yeah, I think my tube was a little wet. All right, there we go, guys. That's how an elbow works. Look, it's the With muscle. The muscle. There we go. There's All right, you. I hope you guys had fun doing that. Let's keep reading. Under your skin are hundreds of bones and muscles. That's what the balloon represented, a muscle. Your bones and muscles work together. They help you sit, stand, walk, run, and move in many other ways. Here is the arm. This is what we're looking at today, the arm. Can everybody touch their arm? Touch your arm. This is your arm. We also took a look at the hands. This hand is making a fist. Can you do this? Make a fist. Do this, let's do a fist pump. Fist pump, Rafiki. <laughs> okay, and then we can also wiggle our fingers. We use our hands and fingers for many things like high fives. We can touch things. We can tickle people. We can do all kinds of things. I can point at you. I can use my hand to blow a kiss. So that's what we do with our hands. Many things. The whole experiment we did was with our hands. And then of course the experiment was about the elbow. Can you show me where your elbow is? Look, I helped you out. This is the elbow. It opens and closes. The function of the elbow is to help us bend our arm so we can do more things. That was an exciting lesson. Enjoy the body parts um, dance video again, and I'll see you on the next lesson.